guys welcome back to my channel my name is Jade and today I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch the things that I found this week at my local Dollar Trees I'm really excited about this one because as you may have seen in the thumbnail I was able to score some of the Halloween and fall fairy garden villages I'm gonna show that in a minute but first let's just get some of this other stuff out the way um, I do have a couple of things. My kids have already gone back to school, but you know, now that the craziness has ended, I kind of was able to go through a little bit more of the school supplies and find some things that maybe were gonna work better for them. I had a couple ideas um, for them. So the first thing that I'm going to show you are these calendars in like, they're like plastic and it has like an open right here where they can take out the calendar and then they've got the whole school year right here. If you hear any little cute person talking, my daughter is playing with her toys out there in the dining room. So I have kids, so yes, I still have some at home. So if you hear her, she's having fun. She's living her best life. So anyways, I thought this was a great idea for my son. I'm gonna give these to my two older ones. My kindergartner doesn't need this, but it's cool because he could put the lunch schedule in here or he could be able to write any class assignments or maybe if he knows he's having a test coming up or whatever, he'd be able to like stick this in his binder and have that. So I never saw these before, not to say that they weren't there, but I found these and got those for them. Then the next thing that I thought would be a good thing to put in their binder. Now their school supply list didn't ask for these pencil pouches. But now they've already gone to school, I've noticed that their pencil pouch or the box that they have, they have to leave in it. their classroom, in their desk. But sometimes when I went into their backpack, they don't have any pencils. So what happens when they need a pencil, they should have one in hand. So I figured again with the binder with that, I picked up um, two of these, one for my youngest and one for my middle. I don't think my oldest kid wants to be rocking this. He's in middle school now, so you know, things have changed. So I did pick up two of these. Uh, I don't know where the other one is. It must be still in the car. <laughs> so these are great because they're clear and that's what I wanted to get for my littler ones because sometimes they forget what they have, you know? So this is great. It's all clear, fits in their binder. Apparently that's all the colors they had too, but they like blue. Then the next couple of things that I found were these colored pencils. Well, they're actually like regular pencils. They're mechanical pencils, but they're assorted in these four colors right here. So I just got those for at home to have fun and do that. Then since as my daughter is at home with me now, I figured I'd get a little re-up on some craft supplies and then that way we can have some mommy and me time. So I finally found the glitter glue. Um, I haven't seen these for so long in my Dollar Trees and now I finally found them. So I did pick up a set of those for us. Then I found this Disney Coco like pencil set comes with a pencil and eraser sharpener and a notebook it is not distributed by greenbrier so i thought that that was you know that was something fun to pick up i know my one of my kids likes the cocoa so that's fun i did find some puffy spongebob stickers and i thought that those were really cute i love the rainbows they had two different kinds so I just picked up one of each and these are not distributed by Greenbrier. So another good find. Then I would like to redo my whole office area, organize my bills and just all those kind of things. And I found these file folders. Now it's not the best deal. You only get three in a pack. I know I just bought some actually from the dollar store for my kids teacher supply list. And there was, I think like nine or 10 in there, but they weren't pretty like this. So I picked up two packets of these. They're all the same design and I got those. Then the next thing I found were these, um, this is called sticker by number activity book. It's in SpongeBob. This is by Dollar Tree. And all it is is really just like the pictures like this. And then it comes with all these stickers and then you find the number, you find the sticker. So that was just something fun that I could do with the kids or the bigger kids can do it by themselves. 
Then I needed to get some new coloring books because ours throughout the summer have gotten a little used. And my my smallest son has been into Spider-Man, so I found one of the Spider-Man um, coloring books. I picked that up for him. And then, you know, I'm all about themes and holidays. And when I saw this book, I had to. <laughs> I'm just going to put it away until the time is right. But it's a pretty thick coloring book. You know, it's pretty basic, but, you know, theming for that. You know what's really funny is when I was when I found this up here in the corner it says $5.95 but it is distributed by Greenbrier but that's just funny but anyways Christmas morning thought that was cute decided to get that and then kind of within the same section where they have all that artsy stuff I found these again Christmas but I don't I'll be ready you know what I'm saying so these are just little paints that they have at the bottom a little bit of water you know the smaller kids have fun doing that so I did pick up this to put to the side and this is not distributed by Greenbrier. So, hey, good find. Then I found these and I think these are so cute. They're from the teaching tree. You get four pieces. They are blank books. And it says, imagine, create, inspire with all these crayons coming down. And on the back is this beautiful rainbow of crayons. And they're just blank little books, which is great. You give them to the kids and they can make their own storybook or whatever, stickers. They'll have a great time. So I thought that was a really good deal. I, Target used to sell these um, in their like their Target like dollar spot section. I had gotten some before for the kids to play with. So I was excited to see that Dollar Tree had their own version. Then the next section that I'm going down right now, if you're virtually shopping with me, would be the uh, like electronic aisle. And I saw somebody haul these and I saw somebody do a walkthrough and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want those. I need those. I really hope I find those. Guess what? I did. I'm so excited. Now these are stylus pens. They're actually pens and a stylus. So these are actually from Walmart. So it's a fantastic deal. This is the first one. It's a three set. And like I said, it's a two in one. And these are just, I love playing with these. The kids love playing with these too. These are gonna be perfect stocking stuffers. They have this style and not all the Dollar Trees I found have had this style. This one I love, this is so cool. It's called Kids Tablet Stylist two pieces now i'm wondering i assume the crown is like its own stylus and then we got a pencil like i mean how freaking adorable is that <laughs> so i picked up that one and then i found which i totally did not think i was going to find this was the seven inch universal tablet case and these will work perfect if you have the seven inch like fire amazon tablet i do have one of those so this is awesome so it has like this little tab and then you just open it up and this is just the one that has the four corners that you kind of just put in there but for a dollar this is great just to protect it fold it up put it in your diaper bag put it in your purse for a dollar again same brand that's from walmart then i grabbed a pack of these tech essentials wipe and type i have purchased a pack of these before with i think they had like butterflies on them but i saw this more like neutral color so i'm gonna put this in my son's stocking hopefully they won't dry up by then but if not he can have them now well you know what scratch that i'll give him these so he can wipe his ipad down when he's in school because they have ipads that they're using for school this year so they'll have that the next thing that i grabbed was this bike phone holder i don't know how well it's gonna work but for a dollar i'm gonna try it if you can kind of see how it would hold on this could either be fun to put on my kid's scooter or I'm thinking, let's try it. Or I was thinking my stroller, like when I'm out and about with a little baby girl. So this is what it looks like. It's all rubbery. It's got a strap right here that we're gonna figure out in a minute how it works. Oh, I think you put it up through there and then hook it on here. But the test is, I don't have a fancy phone. It's just an Android. Let's see. Now I got a pretty big phone. I have like, you know, like a almost a six, 
six inch screen or whatever. So I'm gonna see how well that straps onto the, okay, okay. I thought like, you know what I was afraid of is that you're gonna put your iPhone in here or something and you're gonna be riding along on your bike or your scooter and then this is with the floor and then it just falls. Like, <gasps> that'd be so devastating. But look, it straps in there quite well. Like, and then that's what it looks like. And then again, you're just not bad. I could put it over my stroller like this. Go up, okay. No matter how big or small your thing is, you just tighten it. That will be good. Because then I could just have my phone just sitting right there on my stroller bar. <gasps> like it. Great deal. <laughs> Next. <laughs> this one's like truly random. But I remember, oh gosh, it must be over five years now. Because I remember giving it to my oldest son's kindergarten teacher for one of her teacher appreciation gifts. And I just saw this randomly sitting there and I just had to get it. So anyways, it is called a desktop garden flag and it is the cutest thing. This one says life is short, make it sweet. And these are the other designs that they do have. I actually have this one outside in one of my flower pots right now. It's lasted all this time. So what, five years? So I just thought this was so cute. I had to get it. It's so little. It looks really cute in one of your potted plants. So. I got one of those. Then the next thing that I found was this wild hibiscus little air freshener. I'm not sure if I held this already or not. Now we know the luck with Dollar Tree and their air fresheners. I don't know if it just like the company at the store just know that mm, they're not the best. So, hey, let's just, you know, whatever. We're going to try it out. See it. If not, it looks cute. We'll go with it. Then the next thing I found was from the Beautery Craft. I found this in the crafting section. This is not distributed by Greenbrier. It's a good little size. It does just pop open right here. And then it comes with little inserts that you can just put like that right there. So many things you could do with this, but I did pick up one of those. Then the next section I'm going to head into right now is kind of like you know, the home stuff, you know, the kitchen, all that kind of stuff. Um, I purchased two of these Airwick um, air fresheners. They had these and then everybody purchased them. Then I couldn't find them for a long time. And just recently I went this week and they restocked these, which I was so happy. I know, I know it's like almost like a trial one. It is like a dollar one because you see how they're not full. But for whatever reason, out of all the air fresheners that I've purchased between Glade and Airwick and Febreze and this, this, and that, these ones truly continue with the smell. And I love it. And I don't know. And then the funny thing was I go to the store and, you know, I'm out of these, right? I go to the store. I buy the two pack of these from the store. I didn't smell a thing. Not a thing. So I'm like, you know what? For a dollar, I'm going to buy these if I ever see them again. And sure enough, I did. So I was so excited to get those. So we're happy. The next two things that I'm going to show you are to kind of redo my cleaning gear. This is the microfiber cleaning towel. It says it traps and removes dust and dirt. So I just picked up one of these to see how they are to do some dusting and stuff. I just needed to replenish that. So I picked up those. And then I also found it from the same brand, which I don't know if I told you, but that brand is called Scrub It. This is a two-in-one non-scratch microfiber cleaning pad. And you get two in a pack. So I just picked up those to replenish underneath my sink. And then, I'm sorry guys, my hair keeps getting caught in my eyelashes. And... That's why I usually you see my hair up because my hair just drives me nuts. <laughs> I finally found these. I mean, I think people have hauled these things like, what, months ago? These are the stainless steel drinking straws. Yeah. So I picked up two packs of these. I, I actually really enjoy these. My son got some metal straws and I love how cold it is when you drink your cold drink and the whole straw gets cold. And here I am using... Um, like rubber straws and not these ones these are cool so picked up two of those totally excited about those 
Then another random, but seeing some on like that kind of stuff. I picked up these paper plates. Aren't they the cutest ever? I love those. They're just so fun. My daughter loves stuff like this. It's just fun. So I picked up those. Then the last section that I'm going into is kind of like, you know, the beauty, the health, the taking care of yourself section. So the first thing I'm going to show you are these lavender infused exfoliating bath mitts. I picked up two. Obviously I have two hands. <laughs> so I did pick up two. I had the gloves and I love those. Those things are just so awesome. But when I saw these, I was thinking maybe I wouldn't have to sit there and like get all my fingers in each one of the things. Maybe it would just literally be easier to just slip my whole hand in a mitt. So we're going to try that out. So I picked up the purple ones. Then I found some new Sincerely Jewels from, is it Scunchy? I saw this beautiful like denim headband, which I thought would be so adorable on my daughter. So I got that. And then they had this really pretty clip. I thought that was so pretty. So I picked up one of those. And then I picked up this body benefits by body image for him it's a two by two face brush and it's actually it's got some good weight to it it's really heavy now it doesn't have to be for a man you could totally use this yourself there's the bristles and like i said it does have some weight to it so i picked up one of those then i'm doing like this whole back to school little first aid kit for my kids that way they have their own little container with their own band-aids and neosporin and all that stuff so they don't have to worry about interrupting a teacher, worrying about this or that. They can just go in their book bag, take care of it if they need it. So um, I'm going to show you probably in my next Dollar Tree haul all the stuff that I purchased for it because not every Dollar Tree I can get everything I need. So obviously it takes multiple Dollar Trees multiple times to get it. But while I was at this Dollar Tree, my son loves these ones. These are his favorite. These are the Cure Red <laughs> Camp Camo. These are the Flex Fabric ones. I love the fabric ones. They're fantastic. And my son did too. So he requested me to get these for his first aid kit. Next couple of things I found were the, let's see, what am I going to show you first? <laughs> is these Miss Spa masks. This one is a minimized facial peel off mask. This one is a bubbling facial sheet mask. And then this one is a Brighten Renew Radiant Glow. I think this one is a facial sheet mask as well. So I thought these were really cool. They were new. Got those. Then I came across this, say, let's, what is it? Then I came across Yes to Grapefruit. This is a vitamin C brightening instant no rinse shampoo cap. I thought that was intriguing. Again, these are awesome for, you know, all the time but you know stocking stuffers like now's the time to start thinking about those things so my last couple of hauls i showed you that i found this whole display case with all the lip uh smackers i only picked up a couple but i decided <laughs> i decided i want more for my collection so i picked up the next two of my favorite princesses so i have Belle here and cinderella and they are cinderella is vanilla sparkle and Belle is tea party treats so i picked up those then I picked these up. I love these. I do not see these all the time. We were going away for uh, a trip to Orlando. And so I wanted to grab these, but um, I just grabbed a couple extra because they're awesome. It comes with a toothbrush for kids, the toothpaste, and then it comes also with a cap. So Shopkins is really hard to find. And my daughter loves Shopkins and my oldest son. My oldest son, when he was younger, he collected Shopkins. So it was great that I saved all that stuff for my daughter now. So I picked up that one. And then my son, like I said, has been into Spider-Man. So they had one of those. And these are great. Come in their own little pouch and everything. So for a buck, you can't beat that. Then I saw that they came out with this um, hydrogen peroxide. But what I love about it is it's in a spray bottle. So that is just awesome. So I did pick up this for our stash. And the next thing that I found was this oral care kit. I have gotten this over the years multiple times. It comes with a, what do they want to call this? Dental aid, dental mirror, a tongue cleaner, and a toothbrush. I don't really use it for the toothbrush, but this toothbrush you could like clean with it, clean all around your sinks and stuff like that, or use it. It really doesn't matter. 
<laughs> it's a toothbrush. Um, but I really love this picker. I love, I love getting into those little teefers and cleaning that up. So this is a repurchase for me. Then I cannot believe that I found this as fast as I have because sometimes my Dollar Tree is just so slow. But this is the Arm & Hammer Essentials with baking soda. This is the baby foaming wash and shampoo. This is fragrance free and it's a 12 ounce bottle. I can't believe I found that. That's so awesome. Now it does not have any smell at all. So if you need that, that's fantastic for me. I certainly love my babies to come out with a beautiful smell, but this will be easy for my smallest boy who's just at that age where he's going in the shower independently and washing himself. So the foaming stuff is really easy. But then I also thought, since as it's fragrance free and it's baby, that um, I can wash my cats with these. If you guys know, comment down below and let me know. Is this, this would be safe to wash my cats, right? I mean, I watched a lot of people who are cat caretakers and they told me to use fragrance-free baby shampoo. Am I right or am I wrong? I don't know. If you know, let me know. So I did pick up two of those, great deal. Then right next to it, Dollar Tree usually has their own version of this or they have some other version of it, but it is, you know, like the Dollar Tree brand. But this is the Pedialyte in the flavor grape. Now, if you have kids, you know you've had to purchase this before. These can run you like almost $10. It is the smaller bottle, but sometimes that's all you need. These are great to have on hand for those emergency times where your, your child just gets sick or they have problems or whatever. It's great. It's got two times the electrolytes and it's great for hydration. Right here, it tells you heat exhaustion, intense exercise, travel, vomit, and diarrhea. It also says, look, it says great for adults too. If you can see right there on the cap. So I did pick up two of these because this is the name brand. I found a whole new thing of Valero in their bath bombs. These are, the packaging is just, like look at this packaging. Do I have enough? Let's see. Look how cute those are. My kids love these. Uh, the first one I have here, they want to call it Happy Place, and it's sweet orange vanilla. You get three in a pack. So I picked up one of those. Then they have this one called Chill Mode, and this is coconut sea salt. Then they have Be Beautiful, and this is pink pineapple cucumber. And then they have Good Vibes, and this one is lavender eucalyptus. And the last one I grabbed was Lovely You, and this is Mango Hibiscus. I literally, when I saw this display, I stood there and I'm like, which one do I want? And then I'm like, who am I kidding? They all look great. I'm just going to get one of every one. Put them in my little bath bomb thing in the kid's bathroom, and every single time they want a bath bomb, they'll have those. Now, the last thing I'm showing, I did not even mean to wait till last to show you the best thing which is obviously in my thumbnail, but I have the bag down here, so that's why. So right before I show you that, I'm just gonna show you the two fall picks that I found. I love these, these just look great. They're just a great add-on for like little displays or just to fill in little spots. So I did pick up two of these. And then the moment we've been waiting for. I'm so excited. They're all still nicely wrapped in here. And there's a whole long story of how I found these, but you know, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just skip that. But I did find some of the Halloween and some of the fall. So the first one that I found is this laboratory one with this cute little ghost. These are adorable. These are adorable. So I got that one. Then I found the black cat with the pumpkin. So cute. Then I found, should I just go and order? No, I should just grab. Let's grab this pumpkin like trailer with this cute little skeleton. I mean, the paint job's not the best, but hey, what do you expect, right? I'm loving it still. Then 
I got this one. This is like the little pumpkin with the witch hat. It says trick or treat. These are just so cute. Okay. okay. I'm trying to like show you Halloween and then I'll show you fall. Now, the little pieces that I've seen, like the three stacks of pumpkins and all those other cute little things, I haven't found those yet. And I've only found a couple of these, so I'll show you the ones that I have found. First, I found the Halloween like tombstones. And then I found the gnomes. How cute is the one in the middle? <laughs> the pumpkin. So those are all, let me double check. Those are all the Halloween fairy garden ones that I found so far. The next ones I'm going to show you are the fall ones. So the first one that I found was tragic. I'll show you what happened. Is this cute little barn with the little pumpkins. But I must say be careful because look. Look how easy that just popped out. It's so thin that the sticker is literally. Look at that. It looks like a potato chip. <laughs> but that's okay because you're not going to see it. So there's this cute little one. Then I was able to find the red truck with the pumpkins. And these things, I mean, I'm talking, there was like one left of everything. If I didn't go that day, I would have had no luck. Then they had the cute little apple. And then they had this one with the staircase. And then they had the door. They had two different doors. They had this one with the pumpkins and then the other one, I think they had flowers on it, but I didn't need both the doors and pumpkins, my favorite. So this was the one that I chose. Then again, I don't know if there's any other like little figurine thingies, but as far as these goes, I think I got them all. I'm not even a hundred percent, but I found those ones and those are like apples on the top and the pumpkins. Then I found the little scarecrows. Then I found, sorry, you hear my daughter. <laughs> then I found the gnomes. And last but not least, I found another one of those ones, but they are, they are different if you look. They had also like the little, um, I think there was like one or two of them I didn't get. They had one that had like little fairy girls and stuff like that, but it just wasn't my thing. So I didn't get that. All right, well, that was the last thing that I have to show you from my Dollar Tree this week. I thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me and see all the things that I found. I hope you guys have a great week and stay blessed, everyone. Bye.